hello everyone this is 110 engineering youtube channel and uh, uh, we are going to discuss about the tutorial number seven and uh, uh, this lab experiment is uh, about the design simulation of dipole antenna array by using cst studio uh, so the basic concepts about the dipole antenna and uh, the basics uh, uh, about uh, uh, the design of dipole antenna have been uh, discussed in our previous tutorial so its uh, link uh, has been provided in the description so if you have any issue regarding the basic concepts and uh, basic calculations for the design of dipole antenna uh, then uh, you can uh, watch the video uh, whose link is provided in the description uh, so let's begin first of all uh, start your CST and uh, after starting your CST you have to select microwave and RF and as you have to design an antenna and that antenna is basically a wire antenna so just select the wire antennas and for uh, thick wires you can use time domain solver so just click on next you have to define the frequency for example uh, if we are going to design an antenna at uh, 1 gigahertz so its range can be selected as from uh, 0 to 2 gigahertz right similarly uh, we would like to uh, calculate e field h field and far field results and if we have to design it at 1 gigahertz then uh, we will define it at 1 gigahertz right so <coughs> uh, first of all uh, just before uh, starting the design of dipole antenna uh, we must calculate the length uh, of the antenna so instead of calculating the length and uh, uh, you can easily calculate the length uh, uh, here from macros and uh, first of all uh, let's calculate the wavelength of antenna before its design so as uh, if we want to design it at 1 gigahertz so uh, you can just calculate the length so quarter wavelength will be around about 74.95 and that is the length of one pole as you have to design dipole antenna so that's why uh, instead of quarter wavelength the total length of cylinder uh, if I uh, want to uh, define at once then it means that the total length of pole for that purpose will be equivalent to 149.9 or you can take it as 150 millimeters approximately right so go to modeling and uh, then you have to select a circular cylinder so that will be basically uh, the dipole and uh, as you know that uh, its radius must be equal to 2.5 as we have already discussed in previous design uh, that you can uh, uh, you can select the appropriate radius uh, of antenna it will not affect the frequency or operating frequency of an antenna right so uh, if you have to design it uh, as per the length and uh, uh, if you want to design it uh, around the central position so it means that half of the part will be at positive axis and the other part will be at negative axis right similarly materials will uh, material will be PEC so just click on preview and uh, so the length for this purpose will be 150 as we have recently calculated uh, from macros so that will be your uh, final uh, dipole cylinder uh, but it is a single cylinder so first of all uh, we have to remove its uh, central uh, portion so that uh, you can make, make it as a dipole so basically that uh, portion will be uh, the gap so for example as uh, we have already discussed in previous uh, dipole design that uh, its gap must be equivalent to the 20 mm so that's why uh, we have defined the 20 mm gap here you can define any type of material uh, so that uh, such type of material 
uh, cannot be merged here right so later on uh, we will cut away that material right so now simply uh, you have to uh, define its uh, center or you have to pick its central position you can use simple c command uh, c shortcut key uh, to define its uh, uh, central points between these two faces to define a discrete port between these two points right so just go to simulation and you have to uh, create a discrete port with 50 ohms impedance here right so just apply and just uh, click okay so uh, that is the basic design of uh, dipole but uh, uh, we have to design its array right so defining its array uh, first of all uh, just go to the components and select uh, your dipole and go to transform and uh, just copy uh, this dipole and uh, if you want to uh, design five elements array then reputation factor will be five and uh, for example if you have to translate here in x direction then obviously you will define the gap between these two dipoles right so obviously uh, the gap between uh, these poles can be adjusted uh, as the total length of these poles so that's why uh, you can just define it as a L and now you can easily observe that uh, dipole array has been formed right so just click on ok but the one thing is uh, uh, missing here and that is about the ports so I have uh, defined the ports for this dipole but not for the other uh, dipoles so that's why for modeling uh, you can easily uh, transform its copy uh, along the same uh, distance for all these for all these elements right so so you have defined the ports as well so that's all about uh, uh, the dipole array right so in this way you can easily design the dipole uh, array so now you have to uh, go to the fault mon uh, far field monitor and uh, you can check your far, uh, far field monitors requirement but we have already uh, defined the far field monitors as well so that's why uh, we can just start the simulation okay so simulations have been completed so uh, let's check the result of this antenna uh, first of all uh, let's check the s11 so as we have used uh, calculated values so that's why uh, it is almost uh, uh, operating at uh, 800 megahertz however its uh, s parameters can be optimized to the one uh, gigahertz just by decreasing the length of uh, uh, pole right so uh, when size will be decreased so uh, frequency will be increased right similarly you can uh, check the far field results and uh, it is going to provide us 3.52 dpi gain and uh, similarly you can check the radiation pattern as well right so that's all about the basic results of this antenna however as we have designed the uh, dipole array and these are different antennas so you can check the combined result here from post processing right so go to post processing and just click on combined results and uh, then you have to uh, set the amplitude of all these uh, antennas so uh, for example if we are going to set this amplitude one for all the elements and then you have to select its frequency right and then uh, just clicking on combine command you can check the combined results so it will simulate and then calculate the combined results and uh, after this simulation you can uh, check the combined results as well for example uh, now if you want to uh, check uh, its gain 
for uh, for all the combined element instead of all these separate elements you can check the gain of uh, all these combined elements and its radiation pattern uh, from here right so now gain has been improved uh, you can observe that now uh, it is going to provide us a gain of 11.3 dBi right uh, so that's all about uh, uh, the results of uh, dipole antenna array and uh, that's how you can uh, design dipole array easily and you can check the uh, combined results of dipole array as well so uh, please subscribe our channel and uh, press the bell icon for our latest videos as well thank you